today we're going to be installing a Tamor Premier round deadbolt. The first step is to configure the latch for the door we have. This door has a square mortise latch. This deadbolt comes pre-configured for a drive-in latch. This silver collar would operate with the drive-in latch, so we're going to remove that. Simply insert our flathead screwdriver and twist, and the parts will just fall off of the lock. Next, we take our sub plate and we're going to drop the latch through the sub plate, just like so. This latch can be adjusted to fit in a 2 and 3 8 door or a 2 and 3 quarter borehole. 2 and 3 8 or 2 and 3 quarter is the distance from the center of the borehole to the edge of the door. In this case, our door is 2 and 3 quarters and the latch is ready to go for that. If we needed to adjust it, we simply twist it and it moves to 2 and 3 8 we twist it again, it moves to two and three quarters. The next step is to drop the trim plate onto it and click it in place. Now we're ready to install this into our door. We simply slide it into the door, like so. Now we're ready to install the two sides of the door. This lock features concealed screws on the thumb turn so we have to prepare this before we can install it. If you look at it, you'll see there's a very small set screw set inside of the thumb turn. Using the supplied Allen key, I'm gonna put it in that hole and simply loosen the set screw so that I can remove the thumb turn. Once I've removed the thumb turn, I can then remove the cover plate. That way we can access the two bolt holes that will hold the lock together and make it secure on your door. Now we're going to start on the outside mechanism for the door. This is the cylinder and the tailpiece needs to be held horizontal and needs to go through the large hole on the, on the trim, just like so. There we go. The next step is there's an inner trim ring which simply slides over the inside and rotates until it drops onto some pins. It's now held firmly in place. So this is now ready to be installed on the door. Make sure that our tailpiece is horizontal and we'll install it so that the horizontal tailpiece goes through the horizontal section of that mechanism. It looks like a plus sign, just like that. Now we're ready to install the inside trim on the door. To install the inside trim, there's a little arrow which points upwards and orient the inside trim so that the bolts are on the lower half of the circle, the bolt holes, and the little arrow on the front of this square is saying up, is aimed upwards. And, is in a and then on the inside, you'll see that it's in a horizontal position. So now we're ready to install the inside trim. I simply slide it over the tailpiece, and now I can take one of my bolts, which will hold the hold the lock together and hold it secure in the door. I like to thread these bolts with my fingers. Everything's working beautifully on this lock. I'm ready to tighten the bolts to their final tightness. Now we're ready to pop the trim ring onto the inside of the door. It's only one way it can go and it simply pops into place on the inside. We're also ready to reinstall the thumb turn. Before I put it in place, I'm going to put the Allen key into the grub screw. I'm going to slide the thumb turn into place. We'll test that it operates smoothly. And we'll do one last test with the key just to be 100% certain it's operating properly. I put the key all the way in in the lock. There. You now have a Tamor Premier Grade 2 deadbolt installed on your door.